CNN is working to raise awareness of modern-day slavery with My Freedom Day, and we partnered with the Global Sustainability Network on their Herd PSA competition. Leaders from different faiths came together to sign a joint declaration against slavery. Filmmakers from around the world created public service ads to raise awareness about the issue. I talked to one of the judges about the competition and the winner. Joining us now to mark My Freedom Day is the legendary music producer and philanthropist, the one and only Quincy Jones. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> God bless you. It's good to have you here with us. My pleasure, honey. You are called upon to lend your voice to so many issues and campaigns and causes. So tell me why you have chosen to throw your weight behind the fight to end modern day slavery. Because I've, been, I've witnessed it and I've been traveling the world, everywhere in the world since I was 18 years old. Aleppo, Damascus, Iraq, Iran, you know, the Anglo-American oil company, Karachi, Pakistan, all of it. It's just, it's amazing. Yeah. And so I, I'm very, I can't help but be touched by what's going on in the world. When I look at the favelas, I've been going there for 63 years in Brazil. Wow. It's frightening, I mean, the way they live. And, and so tell me, how did you become involved in this uh, PSA expose film competition? How did that happen? Um, and so they came up to you and asked you to be a yeah, judge? Yeah. Uh -oh. well, they, they induct you. <laughs> <laughs> and with everything you're doing in the world, you said yes. Well, I don't, I don't, but I can't say yes to all of it. I just, you have to be very truthy about this stuff, you know, because it takes a lot of time, a lot of passion, energy, mm -hmm. creativity, and I love it. And what was the experience like being a judge as part of this? It's great. It's great. It's great to get the, the true message of what's going on. That's, that's what I like. More and more and more, as you get older, it teaches you how to get out from my, me, my, to we, us, and they. Yeah. And that's all I care about. Mr. Jones, would you do us the honor of announcing the winner? With my pleasure. And the winner of the student competition is Matthew Franco Elias. Wonderful. Uh, from South Africa. Thank you so much for coming in to make this very special announcement. We are so grateful to have some thank of your you. time. Thank you. It's a pleasure, honey. And we will now show you that winning entry from Matthew Franco Elis from South Africa. And Matthew Franco Elis joins us now from Johannesburg. Matthew, thank you for being with us. Uh, just off the very top here, a mention of Gig Khule, who was your co director and co writer for this PSA. Um, so explain to us the backstory here. Where did the idea come from to focus on child sex trafficking in South Africa? Well, well um, I'm actually uh, related to someone who is quite so active within. Um, working against it. She works at a clinic. Her name is Krista. Um, she's, a, she's my cousin's aunt. Um, and Giggs, my uh, associate, also experienced, he lived in a township basically, so he, lived, he grew up in relative poverty, and he experienced this trafficking happening in his society, and it really, it, it got, it, that was where we departed from that point. From that point it was it was set in stone. We knew that we were going to do something to do with trafficking, uh, sex trafficking. Okay, okay, so we just saw the 30 second version. There is a longer, uh, minute long version. And in that ad, in the longer version, it goes from sort of the ordinary every day dad finishes dinner, kiss on the cheek, and then suddenly gets very creepy very quickly. Uh, how common is that in South Africa that children are being sold for sex slaves by someone from within their own family? It's, 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 it's actually. It's, it's unbelievable how common it is and how little people see it. Um, just in the news recently, they've had, I mean, I, there was a kid being sold on the corner of a train station by, um, by his mom who wanted to 
um, actually to get drugs. So he was trying to sell a kid, basically an infant, to get money for drugs. And um, further exacerbating that, um, in Springs, previously last year, I think it was, um, there was a, someone who actually hold the, held his own fa whole own family with five kids, I think it was five kids, and nobody knew about it. So the whole, um, the whole community just didn't speak about it. They didn't know what to do. And I think that's really something that we need to change. As I, I, guess part, I guess trying to change that, that's where I guess these, these PSA, ad, PSA ads come in. Uh, once yours gets a bit of airtime, what sort of uh, impact are you hoping for? Uh, we're, we're, we're really hoping to, to, to open people's eyes as to how close it is to home. It's not something that happens far away in Africa or in other parts of the world. It's, 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 in, the, it's in your friend's house, it's in your, your neighbor's house even. Um, and it's happening to their children, it's happening to, it's, it's, it's explicitly families that it, it is happening and I think that needs to change, it really needs to change. Okay, well maybe with your PSA um, and, and the other ones that are out there and the work that you've done, uh, they're making this ad, uh, there could be some change. They say, you know, daylight is the best disinfectant for these kind of things. So, Matthew, thank you very much for being with us and congratulations. Uh, thank you very much, John.